And welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Done Pedal Show. My name is Kapoor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex, and we're going to do some cab loader action today. Yes. Cab loader action? Cab loader action. Well, why not? Uh, we've got the Engel cab loader, which we've been using um, uh, to add an IR to our amps that we're using here. Yep. Uh, but it has built in power amp, uh, built in power amp emulation as well. So we thought, let's have a look at it uh, as basically using it as a power amp with amp in a box pedals. Mm. So uh, we've got the JHS, uh, this is the Charlie Brown version 4. Yes. So kind of plexi JTM 45 type thing. JTM 45. You can watch a full video on that here. Yeah. And before we get into some sounds, if you can hit like and subscribe on the video and thumbs up, it's always appreciated. Yes, please. Ding the notification bell. And please do. We'll um, let you know when a new video is up. Yes. So, how we have it running? We have it directly through the console, no EQ, no compression. There is a bit of delay if we need it on the UAD Apollo. Yes. So basically, going guitar into the Charlie Brown, into that, into what Alex said. <laughs> um, okay, so Pretty this good. is what this would sound like. Let's put everything at 12 o'clock, right? So this is it just DI. No, this is just a cl No cab loader, no drive. <laughs> So it's not the greatest sound in the world. Glorious. <laughs> so now let's try this. So yeah. basically, it's it's on bypass right now. We have these two presets. So again, you can watch a full video on the cab loader here. Um, and we made these two presets, which is meant to go with the amps, right? So this yeah. is the more clean. This is the more clean, and this is the more dirty preset. So let's just see what the presets sound like yeah. with this. So let's try a more clean sound. It's like instantly better. <laughs> it instantly sounds pretty good, actually. So I believe in a preset, you can watch the video, but I believe we're using 6L6s hmm. for the clean, and we're using a 4x12, one of the ones with the G12M65, I think, from memory. So we might just build a sound to but, suit this actual, like, amp in a box type. Pedal. Drive. Yeah. yeah. So let's have a look. So I guess JTM45, we're looking more at... at Probably 212s. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's start with that. I was going to start with the parent, but okay. Let's start with oh, the figures. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I was going to say it's EL, EL eighty fours, EL thirty fours are more like True. six L than six L sixes. So let's have a look. So this is EL thirty fours now. Okay. So that, actually, it's it's shoes. Let's let's do what you were saying. Hang on. It's a bit hard with the, with the. Yeah. It's, um, it's tiny writing. Small writing. Okay. What about a vintage thirty two by twelve number five? The, the, sure. And let's just go with the 57, everything sort of in the center. And let's just try out the different um, mm -hmm. power amp tubes. So this is 6L6. No, sorry, EL34. EL84s. The 30s fours are a bit like gooier, if that had a bit more give, and 84s are slightly brighter as well. Yeah. That's true. So that's 6L6s six 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 now. Six, right. And then I'll try 6V6s six six last as well. Okay. Either 34s or 84s. Well, for me, this, the two I liked the best were the 6v6s and the 34s. To me, they sounded the best. Oh, yeah. Just purely sound. Sure, interesting. So let's just go, just to keep it kind of, you know, in the ballpark. In the ballpark. Yeah, yeah, let's sure. go your 34s. Yeah, that's so let's try different so let's stick with that cabinet for now let's yep. try different mics to see where we go so we've got a 57 we're going to a 58 a 421 and a 441 a 200 ip a 2003 an nt1 
a 400 db an 87 and a 47 lots of numbers lots of numbers so this is the 57 let's just let's just not look at what it is let's yes. just see what sounds the best let's use it easy mm. This one now. That one's definitely bigger. That's an 87. Ah, it's, it's a bigger number, so it sounds bigger. Yeah, yeah, of course it does. It's how science works. Yeah, yeah. Maybe between the 57 and the 87? Well, I, I was... Uh, per, again, for me personally, the 57, the first one, I think sounded the best. Should we... A, B, the two? A, B, 57 and 87, okay. So, yeah. Maybe 87. It's a bit smaller. Yeah. 87 is a bigger sound? Let's go 87. This is a large diaphragm condenser, so it's going to be... Bit more extended range, yeah. Both ends. Let, let's also try. I mean, you always like a bit of distance because that gives a bit of roominess. Sure, yeah. Let's just muck around with that. So, okay. whether it's in, right, lights right in the center. Do you lose some top end when you take it off? When you take it off. So, maybe we we'll stay closer to the center. Yeah. And a little bit of distance. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. That kind of. A little bit more distance. Open up a slightly. Yeah. I think we're getting too loud. Master Might down. Distorted a little bit. Yeah, I don't want the presence up. A bit. Up a bit? Yeah. Now let's just try. I mean, we've been the whole time we've been on number five, which is. Uh, E212 with vintage 30s. Sweet. Let's try one with vintage 60s. Sure, okay. That'd be interesting. Do you want to keep it in the 2x12s? Let's worry about something completely different, like a 1x12. 1x12? Okay, let's write it. 1x10 or 410 or something. So that's a, hang on, where are we? Where's number one? Number one is, is a E1x12 with vintage 30s. Okay. That's all bad. Then the next one is a G12M65. Okay. Pretty now tiny. compare to compare that to the uh, to another two by twelve. Oh, hang on, we weren't a four by twelve before. Sorry, the numbers are so hard to read in the in this okay. light because it's bright in here. Yeah. This is now the two by twelve really with the vintage sixty. Reflective. Huh? Two by twelve vintage thirty. Maybe not vintage thirty for this sound. Maybe for a high gain thing, it might be better. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, so you want to stick with the, which one do you like best? I personally, maybe the 1x12 G12 M65. Maybe because that's, is that a greenback? Was it G12 M? I don't no, know. It's, it's some Celestian thing. Um, we have a single 12 with the green back here in the studio that we're kind of used to the sound. Yeah. So maybe it's somewhere in that ballpark that makes it familiar. <laughs> Twelve, you need that because otherwise it gets too little again. I think it sounds great. Oh. So that's a kind of cleanish, mild, broken up sound. Yes. Uh, of course, there's so many different ambient box type pedals. You can go the Marshley thing. We've got some other ones we can check out later on, possibly. But there's also like the Vox thing, Tweed type stuff, Dumble stuff. One of the reasons we picked this one, I think, is it has an, a three band EQ on it. Mm. Uh, some of the other ones only have tone knob on it, and I think with that sort of, st yeah, it, it would probably work as well. Yeah. But with this using using um, this kind of style of cabin power amp emulation, having a tone stack mm. like a full tone stack, a three band EQ tone stack like you have on an amp, makes it work even better. I think so. Okay, so that's the low gain kind of thing. Uh, there will be another video where we do a more high gain kind of version of it, a higher gain version of it. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be fun. Um, uh, while you're hanging out, please hit check out the link tree below. Link tree link below. Uh, there's Instagram, Facebook, our podcast, our Facebook group, and a whole bunch of stuff you can check out and keep in touch, see what we're up to. And, uh, big thank you also to Jürgen and, Eng and Martin at Engel uh, for you know giving us this and uh, letting us ever play. And hello, Jürgen and Martin. Um, yes, uh, check out the Engel cab loader. Uh, yeah. More videos coming. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below if you um, have one of these or you dig it. And, um... Or a cab loader of other persuasions mm. that you use, uh, you know, some sort of an IR loader. Let us know what your thoughts are. Thanks for hanging. Bye. See ya.